Oh hey guys, we're rounding them up for the start of September. Here's this week's top five biggest stories. Number five, Nintendo is shooting rumors and announcements like they picked up a fire flower. Let's Play Video Games have detailed everything from the console's alleged size to its buttons and connectors. The device is reportedly slightly thicker than the Nintendo 3DS XL, will feature a share button, split D-pad, and motion sensing detachable controllers with advanced vibration. Also, it's got a TV connector port, SD card slot, headphone jack, and cartridge slot. So many deals. That's crazy, it should just be outed already. Meanwhile, a Nintendo Direct was held this week, so be sure to catch up on all the news that came out of it, including their new 30th anniversary Zelda Amiibo line and the new and really awesome Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World on 3DS. Number four, break out the baby oil and underoos. This was the last week of IGN's exclusive WWE 2K17 roster reveals, and we wrapped up with some colorful entries. You can check out the new entry from Asuka, as well as other freshly announced roster additions like Bailey, Cactus Jack, Dude Love, Dusty Rhodes, Goldust, John Cena, Kane, Lex Luger, Mankind, Roman Reigns, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, Undertaker, and Vader. There's tons of classic and new spandex stretchers in this year's edition. You can check out the full list of sweaty lords and ladies at the link below. Number three, early Battlefield 1 beta access codes were sent out to Battlefield insiders this week. Lucky them! Unlucky for everyone else because when it was time for everyone to play the beta, at least 10 plus hours of the access was riddled with server issues. Yes, the culprit looks like a hacking group took responsibility for one mean DDoS attack. They're so mean! But everyone should be good now and there's no set beta closing time. Number two, World of Warcraft Legion is the latest expansion for the MMO and Eurogamer reported that a Twitch streamer beat the maximum level 110 in just under five and a half hours. The player goes by the name of Fragnance and claims his demon hunter, sick like me, hit the cap in five hours and 28 minutes. So everyone can relax now and enjoy the game. And number one, No Man's Sky refunds. Yes, a lot of folks have reached out to outlets like Amazon, Sony, and Steam for refunds of the game, and rumors suggested they were being given out. However, we got the scoop that there are lots of conditions around getting money back for the game, such as the need to run through troubleshooting options first and only if your game has technical issues. Standard refund policies apply to all three outlets, and that's that. No refunds for, I don't like the game anymore, or it doesn't have multiplayer, I was lied to. And those are your top stories for the week. I'm your intercontinental lightweight champion, Naomi Pizza Cutter Kyle. And for more news, be sure to watch this week's Daily Fix episodes and have yourselves a great long weekend.